So today we're gonna be testing out another medieval engineer's creation. We got a catapult here that I just got them building a little bit ago. And the first one kind of failed, but this one seems to be working a lot better. I did a few more tests on it, and it's not doing too terribly bad. So basically what I did here is I have a torsion spring with a 15 block pillar on it with the little spoon thing. I don't know. On the end of it. So I'm going to sit there, attach it real quick, use T to attach it. And I'm going to use T to spin the wheel. And as you see, about 15 blocks away from it as well, I have this rope here so I can turn it and that gives it the best distance that I can wind it back. I also put this bar right here so that way when the arm comes up, it'll hit that bar and it'll stop and it won't, the swing arm won't go past the bar, which sometimes causes the projectiles not to go as far. So with that, I was able to launch boulders a lot farther than I normally would. Also, when you do it, add supports like this. These are the 10 long angled supports. Those will help out as well. And when you go to load your cannon or catapult, whatever, place a set of stairs here. It'll make your job a lot easier. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do a quick dry fire just so you, I can demonstrate it. And as you see, it stop right there. The reason why I have put the stop right there is because it'll reach its maximum um, height that it can achieve at that point at its full velocity. So at that point, at the top of the arc, it'll be going as high as it can go. So if you let it go past that, like if I take this bar away, it'll actually swing down like that and it'll fling the projectiles more lower, like as you see down here about right in there but with this I can get them to go over the bridge about right there to the top of the hill so I'm gonna wind it up again hey Brett's playing medieval engineers okay. first I'm gonna do with a large projectile also if you want to set um different menu items you start out I'm going to teach this right now. If you press uh, shift and then one, that's your main menu right here at the bottom. If you press shift and two or three and four, you can actually go into the inventory menu by pressing G. Then you can drag things in there like you can make specific toolbars like three could be stone, two could be wood. You know, so on and so forth. I'm going to go back to this because I have it already set. And then see how it locks onto the grid? If you press J, it'll unlock from the grid and you can place your block. So I'm going to place a large stone in there. And just for that being out of the way, I press 0. And we're going to launch. Now that's with a large projectile and it launched over the hill. And I'm going to wind it up again and we're going to do a small projectile. Lining up. And it's back. Okay, and then use your mouse scroller to change the size. And unlock it from the grid. Drop it in. It rolled out. Do that again. I'm not dealing with your shit. There. Don't move. Okay. And fire. Now look at that. It hit the top of that mountain. I'm going to show you about where it landed. Actually, I'm going to show you exactly where it landed. It even shattered. It broke in half on the edge of the map. That's how far away the catapult is. And that's how fucking powerful it is. Now, the large one, it landed back here. Ah! Oh, I can't control this. This is difficult. I'm in fly mode. The large one's landed back here. See, there's one right here. And another one right there. And if you guys enjoyed this video, 
then please like, subscribe, check out the Facebook page, check out the other videos I've done too. I've played a couple different games. I just started playing Game Dev Tycoon, I play Advanced Warfare. And if you guys ever want to suggest any videos or whatever for me to play, go ahead, send me a message, put it in the comments, and we'll try to get to them. Alright, we'll see you guys later.